Time for Friday Follies and a little fun. Anderson Cooper is looking like the host of The Bachelorette. And Roseanne Barr puts Jimmy Kimmel in his place. But we start with the fine art of Rosie O'Donnell. Here's Fox News contributor and best-selling author Raymond Arroyo. We need some kind of kicking feet for you want a, you Friday want a, Follies. You a musical intro. Yeah, we need a musical. We need, kind okay, of a, we'll a, we need something going on here. Okay. okay, so Rosie O'Donnell has taken up painting. She has. Well, You'll yeah. remember earlier in the week I exposed Jim Carrey's political art. We even did our own. Uh, Jim Carrey put these bizarre pictures up this week of Sarah Huckabee Sanders. Can we the put that up, please? Yeah, let's show those. And then he offered an explanation in a documentary about is. his final. There it is. I mean, this is something that a grade school child on too much Ritalin might create. But <laughs> nonetheless, oh here's God. his explanation for this, I guess you call it art. I think what makes someone an artist is they make models of their inner life. They make something physically come into being that is inspired by their emotions or their needs or what they feel the audience needs. Art has to be service. Uh, it's a, he's, a, he's offering a service to people. It's his inner life. If this is what his inner life what? looks like, oh my lord, it looks like he's painting on a rubber room wall in it, that yeah, studio. It, it, look at Bruce Almighty. God help us. Well, well, after I saw this, and now Rosie O'Donnell has taken up painting, and as you can expect, it has the same subject. Donald They're Trump. Obsessed. Take a look at this. Okay. She's painted, she started painting on her iPad oh, with her clever. finger. And she says, she started doodling and sadness, rage, and disappointment flamed out of my finger. She claims Oh, I like the close-up there. That's really... Oh, look at that. Oh, move... Fake. Wow. Move, move over, Rothko. <laughs> she said, I can't help but what comes out of me. My anxiety oh. takes over. Uh, she said, I had to go to my bunker to figure out how I was going to make she it. Looks like a self-portrait, if you ask me. This is, I, I have to tell you, it, I've read a lot on this over the last few days because of you and this show. Yeah. Painting is a therapy they suggest to people with anxiety disorder because it helps them work their aggressions out on the canvas. That's what I think Rosie and Jim Carrey are doing. Now, here's what she's named yeah. her four great works. Okay. The Moron, Lunatic Trump, It's Over, and Too Bad Trump. One wonders if the president were to take she up is. painting, Rosie O'Donnell, what he might call his great work. Mm-hmm. Let's look. She's a slob. Rosie is a loser. Maybe, maybe that. Maybe oh, that no, would be the title of the work. <clears throat> she, they have something of a, a, an obsession. I think he needs to get a restraining order because... They, I mean, we get it, okay? He has kind of a tan face. We get it. There's no subtlety. I mean, art has to have some subtlety to it, doesn't it? Well, she said not? she doesn't want to be part of the president's world, but he's eating her alive. It's a compulsion. I mean, it, it, something is definitely wrong. I think she and Jim Carrey might seek. Can we go to Roseanne Barr, who I actually like? Yeah. Um, so she's reviving her sitcom, which I confess I did not watch. You know, you're, you're either a Roseanne fan or mm -hmm. you weren't, and it wasn't my thing. Although a yeah. friend of mine actually wrote for the show, like uh, years ago, wrote for it. It was in the top ten for 11 oh years. Oh, my God, it was a huge hit, but it Big just wasn't hit. my thing. So she's reviving it on ABC yeah. because everything old is new again, because they are fresh out of ideas. But this actually is an interesting revival. This Why? is very interesting in that you have a working class family where there are political divisions. Roseanne's character supported Donald Trump. The rest of the family, 20 years later, it's been 20 years since it was on the air. Wow. 20 years later, they have division. Think of all in the family. I think this could be huge, huge. because it's a Nothing place like it. for people to laugh and have a conversation that they can relate to about making ends meet, working good. hard, and, and the political divisions that come with family life. Now, she was on with Jimmy Kimmel. He attacked her for slipping away from her liberal roots. Watch this. You were a very liberal, socially liberal person in general. I mean, I'm still the same. You all moved. <laughs> we did? You all went so f far out, you lost everybody. <laughs> a lot of us, you know, no matter who we voted for, we don't want to see our president fail. Right. You know? Right. Yeah, no. It's interesting to hear the people clapping. There in were that a lot audience. of people clapping, and she went on later to say, "Look, She's kind of we, cool. we have to support the president, no matter who that is." Tom and Arnold. She got around. Tom Arnold's got to be kind of conservative. I don't know. Well, you, what you see here, though, is somebody who I think has her finger on the pulse of the people, and that working class, middle class, the show, the middle. 
um, Everybody Loves Raymond. Yep. Those shows were huge, huge hits, and they continue to be hits. I think Roseanne Hollywood could, uh, has, has gone so hey, far Dad. left that they've forgotten the people right. of the country. So it this just is gives very a voice to a different a different. You don't uh, have to endorse anything, but no. just at least represent them. Okay, we've got to get to Anderson okay, and Cooper. Anderson Cooper is why is he the go-to person to interview uh, women who've had affairs with or with, female porn with stars? <laughs> yeah, just well, female why porn is stars. he the why well, is he the lucky guy who gets to do these interviews? He's starting to look like the Bachelorette, the host of the Bachelorette. Look at this. Yeah. It's the steamiest, yes. most drama-filled, <laughs> unexpected ending in Bachelor history. Did he have any nicknames for you? <laughs> he'd call me Baby, or he'd call me Beautiful Karen. Did he ever use protection? <clears throat> <laughs> this is the Anderson Cooper, that who, is, I, who you I like. Might as well, you just gotta, you just gotta like. Wrap it up at that no, no. point. I, you I just, mean, you, if that is it, if that's your the apex of your career, of this, an hour of this, it's it's really degrading. I think to a guy who's interviewed world leaders, she, he treated her as if this were Angela Merkel or something. You know, talking about the global debt. Angela Merkel having an affair with Trump. Well, that would be an interesting be hour. A, Angela Merkel Angela for the hour. Okay, so Stormy Daniels interview coming up next. So I guess this is going to be an ongoing series for Anderson. When, 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 with when are we going to open up uh, open up CNN's? Uh, Closets. Oh. And none of these other people have any. CBS didn't have a problem, did they? They had no problem. Mm -hmm. I think they all better be very careful. Okay, we'll do that on the next thing. All right.